Welcome to System Manager 8.3.1 release new feature demonstration video. In this video, we will look at how a user can use System Manager to update a cluster non disruptively to a specific data on tap version. We will use FAS 8040 cluster for this demonstration. The current data on tap version on this cluster is 8.3.1x18. All nodes in the cluster are paired and ready for takeover. So let's navigate to the cluster update page. The update history tab displays the details of previous cluster updates. Navigating back to the cluster update tab, upgrading data on tap software version using system manager 831 is a simplified three step process. We select the image, we validate the cluster and then we finally perform the update. Click on the tell me more link to know more about the cluster update itself. The cluster version details displays, the current cluster version in use and the version details of the nodes and the HA pairs. Click on add to add a software image for the update. A user can download the software image from the NetApp support site to an HTTP or an FTP server on its network from which the image will be updated. From the available images, select the image and then click on next to continue with the update process. Now that we, have, we are done with the select stage, the next step is to perform a validation. So the pre-update validation verifies whether the cluster is ready for an update to the selected version. So we have clicked on validate to start the process. If validation is completed with errors, the user has to resolve them by performing the remedial action and ensure that the cluster components are ready for the update. In this example, during the pre-update check, a warning is displayed that the lifts are not on their home node. So let's navigate to the network page. And then make sure that the lifts are back on their home node. We are sending it back to home. Now let's go back to the cluster update page. Click on next to continue with the validation process. Click validate. The validation is now complete with warnings. Review the warnings. Based on your environment, take necessary action. Go through the warnings. We have an advice as well as an action section which will give you specific advice on how to address this warning. So click on next to continue with the update process. So at this stage, we have selected a software image, performed the pre-update validation check. Now the cluster is ready for the update. The current cluster version and the version being updated to is also being displayed. As part of the advanced option, you can choose to update the entire cluster or HA pairs. We have a stabilization time as well. So it's the time period for which the update process should wait. So as to enable the client applications to recover, we have a pause option as well. So after every major step, we can review the status of the update and then manually resume the update. This option is disabled by default. Click update. A warning is displayed that the cluster management list might be inaccessible. Acknowledge the warning. Continue with the validation. When the validation is complete, a table is displayed. It shows the status of each check and if any remedial action is required. If the validation is completed with warnings, you can select the continue update with warnings checkbox and then click on continue. So this starts the update process. 
there is an estimated time left and then the approximate time elapsed information as well. So now we get into the high availability tab here. You can see that a rolling update is being performed since my cluster has less than eight nodes. This is the default method of update. In case my cluster has more than eight nodes, a batch update would be performed. In those instances, system manager will give me an additional option as well. Here, we can see that the update is in progress. The update might be paused due to errors. You can click on the error to view the details and then perform the remedial action before resuming the update. Here you can see that the update is completed successfully and then I'm, we are being redirected to the login page of System Manager. The sign in to System Manager. and verify that the cluster is, has been successfully updated. You can see from the dashboard that the new release is X19. We can also navigate to the cluster update page and then expand the cluster version details. So this shows us that the new X19 version has been updated. Thank you for watching this demonstration.